I'm Dr. Joe Champion, and uh, this is being filmed in the uh, Dr. Champion Go Room of a Japanese restaurant in St. George, Utah. They, uh, many people that, who have followed me, and which there have been thousands and thousands of people who have followed me uh, uh, over the last uh, 20 years, uh, a lot of people are aware of the fact that no one really expected me back after February 18th of 2009 when I, I was violently attacked and uh, put in a hospital uh, by one attacker who tried to kill me. Uh, I did survive, as you can see. That's the only reason I'm talking right now. Uh, the, uh, but it, it was a long struggle. Uh, uh, for those interested in the attack, uh, it was William Flake, F-L-A-K-E, was the attacker, and uh, you can research William Flake and Joe Champion on Google, and you will find uh, several newspaper articles and of of the attack and what happened. And so, uh, but I am here now and uh, back in the saddle. Uh, uh, I never was able, and uh, when I started this research in '84. I was able to make small amounts of uh, precious metals, but uh, never able to make large commercial amounts. Uh, I was just in the process of making uh, large commercial amounts uh, prior to being attacked. Uh, then I, once I finally recovered from the hospital, I am out, of, out and back uh, in, into production now. Uh, we are, I have partners which I cannot uh, release on, on uh, any type of uh, media. Uh, but we are, uh, we have a full production facility in Washington, Utah, and uh, with that we are uh, looking at doing large, wonderful things, uh, uh, not only uh, in the production of precious metals, but also the production of energy. Uh, this is a uh, uh, one little piece right here that I brought uh, for today. Uh, uh, this is actually um, uh, metals made from a coal fusion reaction, and this is approximately uh, one kilo of metals. Uh, and uh, it was uh, started from 100% pure copper, and now there's no copper at all in it. There's zinc, uh, silicon, silver, and uh, uh, gold in it. Uh, but this is a 100% uh, uh, transmutation of of the base metals into new ba new metals. Part of them are base metals, part of them are, are uh, precious metals. But it, it is a, uh, this is an accomplishment of, of the uh, uh, technology owned by low energy nuclear change. Uh, and we are very happy to be here in Utah and be uh, a part of this. Uh, uh, the technology started in 1980, 1984 uh, uh, by another group, uh, which then I picked it up in 1987. And uh, from uh, 1987 uh, to this day, it's been 100% uh, uh, of my work on bringing it to uh, its final fruition. Uh, we do like uh, what we're doing and uh, there's still ways to go, and uh, but the fact is that we can, and we do, on a daily basis, turn copper uh, into silver and gold, uh, just like we take uh, uh, nickel and we turn nickel into uh, uh, palladium and platinum. So it's not only it's not a gold process. This is is a be able to change one element uh, to. Uh, uh, other elements, just like the way Mother Nature did it in the metals of our Earth. Uh, this we are actually only replicating exactly 100% replication of Mother Nature uh, over the process, but we are more specific because we only uh, uh, produce exactly what we want. We don't produce uh, uh, the entire planet, and we're able to produce these metals on uh, demand and uh, it's just a lot of fun and uh, low energy uh, nuclear change and cofusion, alchemy, they're all the same. 
it's a change of one element to another. And uh, we're able to do this on small scales, uh, uh, like taking uh, copper and uh, converting it to zinc, uh, uh, taking uh, copper and uh, making silicon out of it, uh, copper and making uh, an effusion and making silver, and then taking that silver, putting it in a fusion and making gold. Uh, that's what we do uh, uh, for uh, income. Uh, and so we are not uh, creating something that it hasn't been uh, done by Mother Nature or something before. Uh, we're just uh, doing it neater and faster. Uh, and it's uh, very economical and there is not any problems with uh, uh, emissions, uh, radiation, or other things. So uh, the, uh, uh, the big problem uh, with precious metals, like when we go to sell our precious metals or go to a refinery, uh, uh, it becomes a question, where did this metal come from in an original uh, condition? Uh, where do we find it? Where do we buy it from? Recycle it uh, uh, or uh, mine it? No, we actually produced it. So, I mean, uh, this can totally upset the apple cart of the financial uh, industry because now we can take base metals and, and $8 a pound copper and uh, uh, turn it into about uh, $20,000 of gold for one per pound. And so this is, uh, this is a major uh, a problem uh, for the government, uh, 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 how to control it. But it is technology, technology that was uh, developed here in the USA. And uh, we look forward uh, to uh, uh, sharing this uh, with more people. But uh, right now, uh, all the production uh, of our metals uh, that we're doing is tightly held and tightly controlled by uh, people who associate with the government for us and uh, there is no opening for anybody who watches this video uh, to get involved in it. Uh, it's just not it's just not possible. It is a fact of that uh, the metals are are uh, some people would use the word term synthetic, but they're not synthetic. I mean, gold is gold no matter where you make it. And in our laboratory, or you dig it from the ground, it's gold. Uh, for more information on, on the books and the technological developments, uh, please visit the website.